Hi guys, welcome back to Weasel Boy. Today I'll be showing you how to make some of my most stupid machines that I absolutely love. Like this one, the Diamond Fountain. It just infinitely squirts diamonds. Over here I have my chicken in Boxinator. You get a lot of chickens. But you do get chickens in boxes. And then this, I've made a machine that's actually kind of useful. I think it should work right now. Yep. Teleportation pad into a random villager's house. Okay. We'll start off with the teleportation pad as it's the most simple one. Um, you just basically make a bubble elevator with the trapdoor at the top. Make sure the trapdoor is always activated. I'll show you the redstone in a second. But you just chuck an ender pearl in. And that, the ender pearl, it takes a few goes, but every now and then... Just tuck, stand in the water, shoot it straight down, and there. The ender pearl will just stay floating in the water. And what I've done is I've connected a big redstone line going all the way along to just one of these redstone whatchamacallitonators. This was where I had my first test of one. There's just a random bubble elevator there. but So it goes along, and there's the button that activates it all. So that's pretty simple. This one, probably the most complicated of all, the chicken in Boxinator. So to use it, you need to get a composter and then a chicken spawn egg, or if you're in survival making this, just a normal egg. So you place the composter. I'll just show you how to use it before we do the redstone. We'll place composter chicken underneath it and pull the lever so the four trap doors close up locking the chicken in and then the sticky piston pushes the um composter into the thing as you can see the chicken is in there there's too many chickens ah okay and then i do that and the chicken is in the composter then if i press this button it moves it along the line and the chicken that was in the composter at the end gets freed okay so I'll just quickly fly around so you can see the redstone behind it it's quite simple really not and I know there's gonna be some redstone maniacs out there that are gonna make this so much more simple and then we head over to one of my favorite machines I've ever made the diamond launcher so if we pop down this hole um as you can see i've just got a redstone repeater tick thing machine watching. i'm recording Sorry. a tick repeater thing and um it goes straight down into a dropper which launches the diamonds into a bubble elevator with a moving water current on top of it and it sort of launches them forwards a bit as they get shot out to get a further launch if you just place blocks at the top there they launch a bit further but they don't go as high they if you just do this they go super duper high but i had the roof on there so that um they wouldn't go that high because then you're losing diamonds all the time and no one wants to lose their diamonds. So, then the diamonds go down this hopper, which leads down a hopper system. And if I just really quickly go down this ho hole, I've got the hopper system going behind it. So the hopper system is actually going in from the side of the dropper so that because if I just had it going there, all the items get stuck in there. Meaning that we lose most of the items and they just despawn. So they'll get stuck in the holes between the hoppers. But then you can put anything in there and it just gets launched. I prefer diamonds just because they're diamonds. Why wouldn't you? This is in the same world as this. My little village. And... I just hope you enjoyed watching this really quick video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. 
Thank you. See you all next time.